Hello, and thanks for joining me for a new JavaScript tutorial. In the next few minutes, you're going to master the ES6 JavaScript REST parameter. When defining a function in JavaScript, your last parameter may be a so-called REST parameter that creates an array containing all remaining arguments, or an empty array if there are no arguments available. In this lesson, we'll learn the problems the REST parameter solves, examine the pitfalls we avoid by using this relatively new ES6 functionality, see how we write it, that is, its syntax, understand how it behaves in various circumstances, and view a final coded example. Let's have some fun. Suppose we wanted to write a function called sumAll that takes an indefinite number of numeric arguments. It could take one, two, nine, or even more arguments. We can't specify the parameters explicitly since we won't always know how many arguments we'll have, so we'll need another approach. Before, we'd use the arguments object to access all the past values, but there's some drawbacks to that. Number one, we usually want to use some array methods here, but the arguments object is not an actual array, so we can't use any array methods without some conversion work first. Number two, it always contains all past argument values. You have no control over which arguments end up in your collection. Number three, ES6 arrow functions don't have their own arguments object, so you can't use any old tricks there. And now that the history lesson is over, let's take a look at the newer ES6 REST parameter that does collect all remaining arguments into an actual array. The syntax is your chosen array name prefixed with three dots. And I say that it collects the remaining arguments because you can have named parameters that will have values bound to them first, and the REST parameter will collect the rest. Notice that the rest parameter always creates an array, even if there are no arguments for it to collect. Remember though, that the rest parameter must be the last parameter in your function definition, else it's a syntax error. Next, let's list a few reasons why using the ES6 rest parameter is generally more convenient than dealing with the legacy arguments object. One, it produces an actual array, which allows us to use array methods immediately. Two, we can control which arguments make it into the array. Three, we can use it the same way, either in traditional function definitions or when using the newer arrow function syntax. Armed with this knowledge, we are now ready to go ahead and implement our sum all function using a rest parameter and our built-in array methods. And there you go. After learning about its syntax, uses, behaviors, benefits, you are now a master of the ES6 JavaScript REST parameter. If this video has helped you at all, please give it a like. If you'd like to see new ones as they're released, and more are certainly on the way, go ahead and subscribe. Also, feel free to comment with questions or suggestions. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, happy coding.